Hello. Today I'm doing something a little bit different. I'm covering a request from a fan, which is something I don't normally do. And I'm using fan in lieu of commenter, so I can feel better about myself. Let's have a read, shall we? This is from Airhead. And it says, Make a video on Marbo Phase 2 or I'll riot. P.S. If Mukai wasn't so obscure, nobody would watch your shitty videos or even give you the time of day, you gormless retard. Well, that's nice. So I guess today I'll be covering Marbo's second phase. To clarify, I have absolutely no fucking clue what the phase or cooldown differentiation is, so I'm left to speculate. I'm guessing that the cooldown refers to the non-spell type attacks in the game, you know, the ones without the special background, and the ones that do have those elements are the phase type attacks, or spell cards if you've played other games like this before. Personally, I just call them attacks myself, with the corresponding number, since it's simpler and is more in line with how the manual describes them, but I digress. To think Marbo's already getting covered again, which I suppose isn't surprising because they made a bullshit. Let's describe the attack. As always, we'll be discussing this on Reverie. The attack begins with white bullets flying in from the side of the screen. This is to keep you grounded, because Marbo will then start rapid firing lasers, some of which are aimed at you, other ones aren't. They merely serve to limit your movement, which is compounded by the final aspect of the attack, which is the bullet ring. These will fire out periodically as well. Each ring starts with a slightly different alignment and height to the other one, so whatever one bullet doesn't cover, the other will. The wisdom I have for this time is... Don't panic. In my experience, this attack is a balancing act, between knowing when to look ahead and knowing when to swipe to either side as to not wall yourself. I try to compartmentalize this as a pattern. There's the initial lasers, there's the bullet ring, which you'll have to normal or micro dodge through, and then there's the lasers that re aim in you, forcing you to consider when and where to micro dodge. The point is to not lean too hard in either direction. Too much micro will end up with you getting walled, and swinging it with reckless abandon will get you caught by the ring of bullets. 